Hi everyone, it's Kathy Maxson. Welcome to my channel. Um, today I'm going to wrap a candy cane form with some ribbon. And I already have a bow made, but this is an example of one that I have done already. So I'm just going to show you how we did this. Um, here is the bow that I have made already. Let me know in the comments um, if you would like uh, to see me make a bow and I can make one for you. You can do a short video. But that's what we're going to do. Um, you can get your candy cane forms at the Dollar Tree. Um, this form I've had for a couple years. Um, so it is a larger form. I don't have the exact size. Oh, I do have a ruler here. Um, so that's like 12. So it's about 20 inches. The ones that they currently have at the Dollar Tree are a little shorter. I think they end about here. Um, but you're, it's going to be the same concept. And they may not even have as long as a, a neck here either. Um, but it's going to be the same concept. You're just going to get your favorite ribbon. You're going to wrap it around the form. Um, so things you're going to need. Obviously, you're going to need your form. You're going to need some ribbon. We're going to use this red ribbon with gold poinsettias. That should go nice with our um, gold and red theme that we got going on here with the bow that's going to go on the front. Um, you're going to need some scissors because we're going to, um, I guess, cut it when we start and finish. Make sure you got a clean edge. You're going to need your glue gun and I'm going to use some silicone fingers. So just so the hot glue will be hot and I just don't want to burn myself because that is not fun. So let's get started. Again, in the comments, uh, let me know if you would like to see um, a tutorial on a bow. So what I'm going to try to do, because I kind of want to, you're going to want to go up at an angle. And I'll show you this one again. I'll move the long ribbon to the side. So what we did, we I kind of went up at an angle. So that's what we are attempting to do with this one. So I'm going to go at an angle, I believe, this way. So I just kind of, you know, okay, how do I want to put this on at the beginning? You're going to want to make sure you're going to put it on a little bit of an angle. And we're going to glue it down. You're going to make sure it's tight all the way against this edge here. And you're going to want to make sure that when you go to wrap it, we're going to be there around the corner. And we're going to be here around the corner. Because what we're going to do is... Um, we'll glue this part up so it'll be a nice finish at the bottom. So I believe that's how I want to be, a little bit at an angle. Get my glue here. Again, like I said, let me know if you want to see a tutorial on, on how to make a bow. I can do that. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Share it if you'd like. So there we go. We're going to let me pull some of this out. And then at this point, you can just like um, wrap it around. I'm going to wrap it around here. See, the lip of this uh, ribbon is kind of going up. Okay. So that's how we're going to start it. So a lot of times I kind of push it down just so it's not bulky uh, and bunchy in the back. And when we're just going to do some spots, you could glue it onto the bar, you know, every so often. But once you start wrapping it tight, um, it shouldn't move. So what I'm going to do down here at the bottom. I do want to kind of like fold this up, kind of, I guess, like a Christmas package. My bulky, my bulky thingies are, they don't let me uh, grasp very good on the uh, ribbon here. So kind of see how you want it. You know, make sure it looks nice and pretty. So what we're going for, it's 
gonna look nice and pretty on the end and all finished. So I like that fold. So I'm gonna put a little glue behind it. And you can always come back, you know, and add some more glue. I'll probably do that. But let's get wrapping. So basically, you can just take your form and just wrap it. So pull it as tight as you can. And then every now and then, you can throw some glue. So then it'll stick to the next one, just so it doesn't slide on your form. So if you just stick glue every now and then on the ribbon underneath it here on the edges, it's not gonna slide on you. Do that again. I don't glue every wrap. And then you kind of also want to make sure your spacing is kind of the same. Sometimes that gets away from me and your spacing is not the same because what's going to be hard is when you go up around the corner here. That's going to be the hardest because your spacing is going to end up being smaller. And then what you can always do is you can wrap it and then just go back and tuck your glue in, your point of your, uh, your glue gun, and you can kind of just glue it a little that way as well. So if you just want to wrap and then go back and glue. Because like I said, around the corner is gonna be, it gets bunchy around the corner. I'll warn that now. So you just gotta, you know, take it easy. Make sure it's gonna be lapped enough so it doesn't, you know, peekaboo out. So it doesn't peekaboo out and you can see it then, you know. So you just kinda wanna make sure you, around the corners that you get a good wrap. Like I said, I'll, I think I'll, I'll go back. Let me wrap the corners. I got some extra glue. Ugh. And it's just going to be how, however you're most comfortable with wrapping it. But you can see it's kind of getting bunchy here. So we can kind of spread it out a little. And maybe even make it a little looser so it's not so tight. So then it won't be so, so um, bunchy looking. some more. Let me take these off until I glue some more. So obviously going around the corner, your ends here are going to be closer than your, your tops. But again, don't let it get away from you so it gets, you know, so you can see that spot. You want to always make sure you're overlapping a little. So whether you use your ribbon, because as you can see, it's starting to get all twisted. So what we can do is we can go and shoot up a little glue up in there. Again, just be careful. I think I'm just going to pop some glue in the tops. Just so that's where it stays nice there. The only bad thing about these, I guess you could glue a hanger on. But since you're covering up the form, you don't really have a place to um, add a hanger for your customer. Um, I usually just hook them up on a command hook. That's how I display them at my craft shows. So 
Actually, I have some S hooks. So we just want to keep the angle going up and around the corner. And like I said, you can see how my ribbon is getting all tangled up. But that's okay. We're almost done. And then this is kind of like at the bottom. You're going to kind of want to do the same thing. So I kind of want to at least make sure I have a good good coverage here at the bottom of the... So what I'm going to do for now, I'm just going to use my scissors and cut way down here. So in case I, I fill my glue strings... So I'm going to go back up here and, excuse me, put a little glue in here. So I'm just going to pop a little glue in there just so it'll stay to the, the ribbon that's underneath it. You can also let me know in the comments where everybody is from. I live in Northeast Ohio, uh, east of Cleveland. I do know a lot of people that follow my page are, you know, family and friends, um, but there are some, some other people. So I'm just curious as to where everybody is from. I'm going to do a little glue there. And then when I come back here, so here I just wanted to make sure that I had enough. And I should have enough. I'm going to put some glue right here. And stick some more of these on. Because we can come back and trim that. So just, you know, make sure that's how you like it. So like I said, you're going to do it at an angle. Try to space it out the same. When you get to the corner, it's going to be harder to space it the same. The tops are around the same, though. Um, and it does get a little, like I said, it does get a little bunchy here in the inside. So I'm going to cut this back. I'll cut it at an angle. And then when I fold it up, I don't need some of this. So I will just cut that off as well. So I'll stick a little bit of glue in here just to hold the two pieces together. There, I'll get my little... Like I said, these silicon fingers are pretty good. And you're just trying to give yourself... You want a, a nice finished edge is what we're going for. You can tuck it in. So I didn't really like that side. It was kind of sticking out. So I'll just dab a little glue in there. And then I'm going to just throw some glue here. As you see, I always try to touch it with my non-covered fingers. <laughs> So that is pretty much it. So here's our wrapped candy cane. So you can see the ends are finished. This one can use a little more glue. Excuse me. I just like to make sure that the inside is all. And there we have that. So that is it. I'm going to unplug my glue gun. 
And then what we're going to do is we're just going to take our bow that we made. Um, I have, have it with pipe cleaner. And I'm just going to stick it probably about where this comes down. Over here, I'm just going to tie it off back here. So what I'm doing, we're just going to twist the, the um, pipe cleaner. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to twist the wreath because what happens here, instead of me twisting, it's going to tighten toward the wreath if I twist the candy cane. So then that way it's not so, so um, loose. So that is our ribbon wrapped candy cane that we did. These are fairly quick and easy to make. You can also, if you have a round, um, one of these metal wreath forms, you can get a 14 inch at the Dollar Tree as well. Um, you can wrap that going around in the circle. You can also do that as well. So you could do a round circle. If you didn't like the, can the smaller candy canes, you could do the round and also you could just make a big bow and you could put it on one side. You could throw some greenery, kind of, you know, glue some greenery maybe coming out of the bow. But there you have it. Hope you like it. Please give it a thumbs up if you like it and share. I would appreciate it. Thank you so much.